hello friends so we are stepping away from the weekly vlog well i just said they're the life a vlog christmas style because i don't really show much of my life which i don't know if you guys want to see what's going on with me because i'm so boring you guys i just work life and kids but anyway i am about to put some curtains in my master bedroom and i'm so excited so here are the sheer curtains so i have the two um, double rods and i have the sheer curtain this one came from amazon it is so nice i'm not even sure if the quality of my camera does it justice and then this one was in my living room before this came from pottery born um it is so so pretty i love the color so i'm just going to add it to um the curtain rod i've been waiting to paint this room before i do so but i'm so not motivating this room like look at it my room looks just a mess um so i need to do something about it just to feel motivated just to feel a little inviting um just so it can make it feel a little cozy if that makes sense um i'm not sure what we're gonna do on this side if we're gonna do another rod right here or it's probably gonna be the case so not the rod right here but i don't i probably would do like sheer on this side and i don't know i don't know but let me put these one up we'll see how it looks and then we'll move to the next step all right friends so i have the curtains on so i have the sheer in the back and then the main solid color on both sides this wall is so long i still feel like even though i have two full curtains it still looks like in between the bed and right here that empty spot i still don't love it so i don't know i need to figure something out <laughs> I need to figure something out um, just so it looks better. I think once I have the clips on too, because right now I kind of put them on without the clips, like the, you know, the curtain, the curtain ring. So I don't have the curtain ring on if I'm using the right term. I don't have the curtain ring on. So I feel like with the curtain ring, it's going to look so much better. And also with this wall, I feel like I need wider curtains. Like, so not necessarily velvet because velvet weighs a lot on your curtain hardware. And especially if, you know, you don't have them all on the stud, it can definitely fall, but it's okay because everything's going to be coming down once I do paint it, but I'm happy at least it looks it looks nicer so all i have to do now is just clean up the room and get it all nice change this horrible <laughs> um quote but yeah um yeah slowly looks better and i need to figure out what i'm going to do with these two walls so it will make sense to do the same color right here and also here it's just these cur these curtains cost so so much um, from Pottery Barn, so I might have to find a dupe for them. But yeah, looks better though. All right, friends. So I was trying to add a pop of Christmas in my dining room, especially with this big window. I wanted a wreath to complement the window and also add a little bit of festi festivity. <laughs> To that space um, I only have one big wreath for Christmas um, and I'm using that in my front door and I promised myself that I wasn't going to buy anything else so I use this one I bought this wreath last year if you guys remember I sat it over my lunchroom door and I decided to move the Christmas tree that was in the family room here from Target remember I added string light to it just to add a little bit of Christmas to that space but I end up moving it back so don't get too excited so I have a vision for what I will do next year yes we're talking about Christmas 2023 um by the grace of God but you know sometimes you just work with what you have like I said I love adding on each year and then you know working with what I have so this is what we did we were very creative with what we have although the street went back to the family room I know one day I may have a formal living room and I may do like tablescape, but tablescape in this space is not functional, neither my reality because we use this table for so many things, homework, 
hubby does his shirt sometime here. It, it It's used for lots of things. So having the table skate here will be very frustrating for my family. So I love to keep it simple. I love using hurricane. You can never go wrong with candles on the table. If you don't have decor, guys, lots of candle can set up the moon, can make the, your home feel cozy, whether it's for fall, for winter, for Christmas, whatever holiday, candles is a must. So I use these voters that I got from Pottery Born about three years ago. I think it's still available, so I would try to link it. If it's not linked, it means that it's not available, friends. And I just added just a bunch of candles, just trying to make it cozy. But at the same time, at night, you know, with the candles on, it really gives that festivity style and feel to my home. You're back with the ribbon attempt again. If you guys my last video, you know the joke. Um, so I bought this mini wreath from Amazon. It's a set of two and I decided to use the same ribbon. It's also from Amazon just to add um, a little bit of festivity on those smaller windows right next to my bay window. So I was trying to add the ribbon just to tie in the look. So the wreath came with this burlap ribbon. So I used that over the window and I decided to use the other ribbon and just to make the bow. But I thought it was cute. I removed the bow and the wreath is going back. Like I said, it just felt like plastic. If you watch me on Instagram, I talked about it. It just felt cheap. So. shower I chatted with my IG family and I'm just like I need to strip the bed it's one week I don't make, we don't make change our bedding every Sunday it's okay today's Monday mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some coffee for this to wash so since I haven't been home for the last couple of days, really, when I say I haven't been home, like I, I've been working long hours. So when I get home, I come upstairs, take a shower, go straight to bed, wake up at 4.30 or 3.30 in the morning, get ready for bed because I have to be out, uh, get ready for work because I have to be at work at 5 o'clock. So for me to be on time, I have to wake up sometime at 3.30, 3.40, get myself ready and then drive for 30, 30 to 40 minutes of in a hot traffic here. So I've been like a zombie. It's just been like a go go routine. And yeah, is I haven't checked my kitchen to see how things are. So things like that clean up the fridge. So just things that I pay mostly details to, you know, moms, you know how we do. So that's what we'll do today. But I need this coffee, you all. So let's go because I can't. So as you guys can see, we have the new box in. So the white hardware came for the range, which is awesome. It's going to go everywhere right now, you guys, and it's okay. I'm just going to take it one step, do one step at a time. I was supposed to meet with one of my colleagues for lunch, or I should say dinner, um, or lunch, late lunch, something like that. But I just came off from working. 35 hours in three days. I'm exhausted. Like I said, I have, I have stuff that I want to do to the house and get the house tidy. Dawei's birthday is on Friday. Is my youngest daughter. If you guys are new here, she's going to be 14. And, you know, there's a few things that I would want to do for her. She up to now open her, uh, her birthday gift until 
Hopefully you guys can hear me because it's hot water. I can hear it in the background that it's loud. So hopefully my sound does filter it. So she upped it not to open her gift on Chris on her birthday and actually do it on Christmas. So everything on Christmas Day. So I thought it was cute. I kind of challenged her. She accepted the challenge. So um, I still have a few things to get you guys. Oh, I feel like... Anyway, let me show you guys the fabric sample that I selected for the swivel chair. And um, these are the fabric samples, all of them. And I'll show you guys close up as well. So this is the fabric that I decide to go with. The swivel chair. It's a lighter tote. Okay, so this right here, like even on camera, in person, doesn't really look like a tote. Or maybe it does. It actually does. Because I just pair it with my camera top. I'm like, yeah, it's like a lighter gray slash tote. And I love this color so much. The thing is, like when you're ordering the, the swivel chair online, the color that's shown is not the same as the color that I have, the samples that I have. And then when you're placing the order of the swivel chairs, the fabric are not numbers. But here, the fabrics are numbered. But on the website, the fabric are named, which makes it so annoying and so, you know, tricky. It makes no sense. But anyway, I'm so bad at explaining myself. So I ordered the swivel chair um, because the return policy is very iffy. I decided to just go with one just to make sure that it is the color that I want and the color that I, you know, the style that I want for this particular space before I order a second one. Um, so I did order it during the Black Friday sale and I do have a business account with with there and also Jasmine. If I'm looking at my viewpoint, I'm sorry, I should be looking at the lens. Okay, get it together, Julie. Um, so... I'm hoping that everything works in my favor. So if one comes and is the right color and I love it, then I'll order the second one. And then once I go custom with the dripper, I think hubby can do it. He said he can. But the thing with my hubby, you have to find him in that right space of mind where he wants to do it. Otherwise, eh -eh, it's not going to get done. Anyway, friend, let me get this cup of coffee because I urgently need it. I'm having instant coffee. This is why I did my coffee bar area. I use my McKinsey Child canisters and also this same flower pot that I use for the fall styling I just added a green plant in there and then also I got these Christmas Village uh, houses from Target you guys they want clearance so uh, Sugar Paper was having 30% off on their Christmas item so I picked up these three seven no three dollars and 30% off you guys 30% so I have a medium uh, white one is small white and then i love the black that's taller and i also had these little christmas tree pine tree from target last year so i really really love that on this side i kept it the same way i have my french press and also a tea kettle from words market Okay, on this side right here is not exactly what I want it to be, but it is quite fine. So I upped it to put my McKinsey Child mug at the very top. They're not the same style. The middle one is a bit more taller. And then on the middle section, I have the Cuffy Tree Mug from Target. And this is for the kids. Um, I wanted the one from... <laughs> pottery barn but you know it didn't come back in stock this year and on the very bottom I have my up from Mackenzie Child just to tie in that black and white look then we have our coffee syrup right here nothing new here I need to restock and clean out my coffee drawer because it's looking um yeah we need to we'll probably do that today as well I keep the restock right here. You guys remember I organized this. It's a mess. I need to find a better organization system for 
tumblers because mm, I also have a package from our place that I will open with you guys. There's two. I have one on the other side. Now I need to go to FedEx and pick up the drawers that came in so we can close this area up. Not completely closed because the built-in microwave is supposed to be here. And let me show you guys up close how the new ranch look. I love it. So we have the handles here. It's just so, so pretty. I love, love, love the details. Um, let me go to FedEx right quick and then we'll come back and just, you know, catch up and do a little mini haul. So I just let Bath and Body work and I made an exchange of two things that I got for the kids. So my girls have their own little Bath and Body work wish list for the holidays. So I took advantage, although they wanted like the body spray, I took advantage when they were having um, the buy three, get three free. So I got them like the body spray with the lotion, but Instead of getting the lotion, actually, I got the cream and I hate the texture of the cream. I ordered some for myself with, you know, that promotion. So I returned mine. And instead of like getting, because I love Bath and Body Work lotion during the winter and fall season, just because my hand gets extremely dry and it actually cracks. So, um, so my return for myself, instead of getting like new lotion, uh, a new scent, I went ahead and got more things for the kids. Oh my gosh, I feel like when you're a mom, you fall into that trick of just like, you know, doing it for your family instead of for you. So the only thing that I got for myself is this one is this rose lotion. And I love this lotion versus like the, the cream. So I I ordered two cream for the girls that's in their, um, I haven't wrapped them yet, but so I'm thinking if they don't like it, then I can return it and exchange it for the lotion so i got this one it smells so good i tried the the fragrance the body spray and then like i said since it was three items i was trying to, to do like even exchange so instead of doing like an even exchange i end up getting a thousand wishes so this is the diamond um shimmer mist and i think it was vanessa who asked for the vanessa valerie one of the girls asked for the body spray um, for Christmas so I thought like you know the shimmer mitts will definitely mean a lot to them so I also got the Japanese blossom the ch Japanese cherry blossom and that shimmer mist and although this was not part of anyone's wish list I felt like the mist or the shimmer was only available in few fragrance so I got that for each one of them in the winter time i need bath and body work on speed dial because that's the only thing that keeps my hand hydrated and nothing else work not vaseline i mean vaseline does work but i hate that like sticky feeling but this right here oh my gosh you guys as you can tell if you look at my hand like sometimes when you see my video i'm, I'm like ashy is no joke i can wash my hand in a few minutes if i don't put hand lotion on you'll see just like pure dryness and yeah it's it's bad so this feels so much better oh my god i love love this fragrance the rose oh man it smells so good i received notification that i have few packages that came in i ordered some stuff from shein for the kids so i'm just gonna go home and get the house together been thinking i was watching priscilla why'd you say priscilla patterson so i was watching sophia patterson the other day on youtube and she made such a valid point on how um as content creators we have a tendency to feel like we need to switch up our christmas team and christmas decor every single year and she said one phrase and that phrase just stuck to me she said that she felt that it was wasteful and i was like 
I don't know for for the longest like you know I get excited to decorate for the holidays I get excited to um you know figure out a different theme but then if I don't have enough of certain item for that particular theme I'm trying to do I find myself just buying something new and without even realizing before you add one or two things and you're adding more stuff you are spending way more money than you have to each year for the holidays sorry as I said it's going to be for the holidays without realizing that you are wasting money so I feel like each year I had a theme and each year I add on to my Christmas during that year because it's one thing shopping off season for a theme that you're thinking of or adding on to your Christmas decor because you're not paying full price but during that season and you want to add or you want to do a new theme you find yourself adding and buying things full price and it adds on every single year and the following year you do something different so I'm trying to break out of that so next year I'm committing myself not to purchase any 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 you guys can hold me accountable here any new decor for Christmas so one thing my husband and I are trying to do is just add on to our outdoor lights that's the only thing but like no I'm not falling into that anymore so I know sometimes I get like new Christmas tree it might be a partnership where I get something new those are different but just to go all out, just to create content and have a new decor and new seasonal decor, even for fall, I'm not buying anything, anything new. I just need to break away from that because my my goal for next year is savings. I'm back working full time. So my goal for next year is saving. We have realized when I go through my storage, I felt overwhelmed and there's so many stuff buried under what I accumulate accumulated throughout the year that it gets overwhelmed it doesn't get used uh, but once so I need to stop and fall stop falling into that trend the way the economy is going you guys know like things are not looking good um, so although I want to inspire and bring new fun and creative idea to my platform but I want to be smart about my money I want to be smart on how I use it I sold so many things, I gave away so many things that were brand new that I pay high in price for and I have to sell for very little just because, you know, I felt the, the itch to switch every year and I just don't want to do that anymore. So I will be very mindful of what I purchase from now on. Next year, what I would love to do, I actually thought about this before. I watched the video by Sophia Patterson. I wanted to do like a very whimsical Christmas, but having just tree that's just bare with no decor or just like white and silver, something very clean. But at the same time, I really love my Christmas decor this year. I love the green. I feel like it's so much, it's like a, it's, it's my own twist to traditional color which i really really love so give me your thoughts down below how do you feel do you switch your theme every year and if you do so is this stuff that you accumulated over the years or you're just that person who knows exactly what you want so you have um stuff from many many more years and you might add on to it each year which is that is different but when you have a theme, you feel like you need to buy different ottoman each year. You need to buy different pick each year. You need to buy different reindeer each year. You need to buy this and that to fall into that color theme. That's what I'm talking about. But obviously, if you know that you love rustic or you love glam, and each year you add on to your to what you currently have, is is different. Um, you're not wasteful with money. You're just adding on to your collection versus having a maybe a whimsical whimsical theme this year and next year you decide to do like um traditional in the following year you want to do glam you know like those can tends to be very very wasteful so yeah i just wanted to share my thought process on that i'm about to get on the freeway so i will catch you guys on when i am home so we can do some unboxing and also more chatting all right it's been hours later i was 
trying to sort out the kids' gifts and all of that. And oh, I just got carried away because I ordered some stuff from Bath and Body Work, but I didn't label which kid wanted what fragrance, although they showed me pictures. But then my iCloud decided to act funny with those pictures and I couldn't find them. So I decided to just move away from that and come downstairs and work on a few things. As you can tell, I moved the couch back to where it originally was. I moved this high back chair from my room. It was in my previous home, if you guys remember. Um, I moved it here just to give a little sitting situation. And I love it so much more. It free ups the space and all of that. Um, I haven't changed much since the last time you guys saw it. I might do a little styling portion and just uh, just to give a little something something different. Um, everything looks pretty much the same as I share. I turned the Christmas this Christmas tree on in the daytime just because at night we do turn it off. Reason why? Because we don't have blinds in the dining room area. Again, this is this is my this is my problems section right here. Now we also need to do an unboxing. So as you can tell, I did a little styling portion. I just added the wreath. I didn't want to spend no money. I just wanted to do something simple and the kids or guests are having fun with the elf. Um, this is the new elf that joined the family. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Um, so she's just hanging out here and supervising the window, I guess. And I originally bought the tree that I got from Target for my family room in here. And this year, this one, um, the smaller one, this is the, the newer version. I had a plastic bag inside just to add as a face filler kind of. So this is the smallest tree and I put it right here. The larger one looks better in here, but I just, I just didn't feel like I just feel like buying another tree, so I'm just sticking to this one. It looks a little flouncy, but it is okay. At least it's not, you know, competing with the view. Because when I had the other one here, it was. So if you don't know what tree I'm talking about, let's walk this way. I don't know what to do with this. All this brightness is coming through. All right, so this is the bigger tree, and um, okay, this is the medium one, I lie. So light is changing because I guess the sun is really on our side right now. So I had the medium one. So this is the medium one, and I had it in the dining room, and I love it, love it. But I, I felt like the first year, so this tree came out last year from Target, and I felt like the first year that did such a good job just filling the tree up. This year, the new collection is a little flouncy. Don't mind this tree right here. It's actually going upstairs. Um, so this is the larger size right here. And I saw and I came across the larger side of this year's collection and it's not as full. So again, medium size and then large size. So I know that currently on Clarence, you can check it out at your local Target. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. It's a box here of what I got for the Oh, okay. So I got this set for Eli. <laughs> I feel like it's too long. Okay, I lied. I think I got it for Miss Valerie. Yeah, I got it for Valerie. So is this sweat shirt? So this one is for Vanessa. She always she's always cold so i thought this would be like so perfect for it oh my god i love it and she's very tall and i love the colors of the button and here is how it looks it's so pretty so, oh, look at that it's so nice quality you guys i love it the little pom pom <laughs> Yeah, so I got it for hair because it's, you know, it's getting colder and, you know, with boys and haircuts, so that French style hat for Valerie. I'm not sure if she's going to wear this because this child, like I said, she's very funny with her, with her fashion, but I got like cute all these, you guys. How adorable. I love this. So, so, so cute. This one definitely looks different than what I saw online, but I knew Vanessa would love it because she's always cold. 
and had this one for Valerie that I know how she loves that new and this feels soft one thing about turtle neck is sometimes it feels itchy it feels uncomfortable this feels so soft yeah. so you can find these things this look like an old navy look and this was if i'm not mistaken this was like 10 bucks you guys 10 dollars and the value is more like a fashion style so the value looks you know people so dance class and cheers so i thought this set would be very cute for her so it's high high waisted and then with the turtleneck it feels so soft next up is for eli he doesn't have a denim jacket so when i saw this one i'm like oh, this would be so perfect for him um yeah love the material it feels so soft this one is for is a set of three shirts it's very lightweight so definitely i'll have him um eli wear like a long sleeve on the shirt with that so this is that color also come in white very nice and also come in black so i got him like i told you i got him these shoes that goes with this one so i think he can definitely definitely gonna love this i hope okay. so i like that clean cut for boys i put in black 